I ran into an issue where I couldn't connect to the Active Directory Rights Management cluster. And when I tried to uninstall and reinstall, I get the SCP is registered, but the root cluster cannot be contacted. So we need to fix that by going into a domain controller. I'm in my domain controller. I'm going to go to Tools and ADSI Edit in Server Manager. So make sure you open up Server Manager and look for that in the Tools menu. If you don't see it, it means you're not on a domain controller. And then next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we've opened up configuration. Now, if you don't see configuration here, just go to Action Settings and just make sure that you choose configuration from the drop down list and then click OK and then it'll show up in the upper left hand corner. After that, I'm going to double click on configuration for my domain and then go to where it says services. On the right hand side, what we want to do is we want to remove the service connection points that are there and recreate them. So I'm going to double click on rights management services. The first one is going to be, as you see here, it's going to be SCP. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to choose delete. Now I'm going to right click on the rights management services and I'm also going to click delete. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to recreate these by right clicking and choosing new object. And I'm going to click the letter S to get me there a little faster until I get down to where it says service connection points. So we're just recreating what we just deleted. And now I'm going to type in rights management services, just like this. Make sure you capitalize it exactly the same way. Click next and finish. Now we see CN equals Rights Management Services. Now I'm going to right click and choose New Object again, but this time within the Rights Management Services. And I'm going to choose a SQL Server, click Next, and it's going to be called SCP for Service Connection Point. And Finish. So now basically we've just recreated what we deleted, but hopefully without the corruption or the other issues, this should work the way we want it. Now I'm back in my Active Directory Rights Management server. So I'm going to go into Server Manager, hit the drop down where my flag is, and choose to finish up the Active Directory Rights Management services. Now, that once again, this is after it had been just reinstalled. So I'm going to specify my login. And it has to be a domain user who has at least local administrator rights. So in my case, my domain administrator has those types of rights. So I'll just use that as a login. and click Next. Now this is something we didn't see before. Now we can create a new Active Directory Rights Management Services uh, root cluster. Before, we could only join an existing one, but once we recreated those SCPs, then we now have that right once again. Now we can specify a database server and a database instance, or we can just say, you know what, just use Windows internal database if you don't have SQL installed. If you do have SQL installed, then you can choose the top option. Now I need to choose a domain user account, but this is going to be my RMS admin account. So I created an account called RMS admin, and you will have already created it because you had this before when you started having issues. So just go ahead and reuse that same account. It can't be the administrator account because you can't use the same one twice. All right, so now I'm going to choose the 2048-bit key. You can choose to have ADRMS centrally managed, or unless you're using a CSP, I'm choosing centrally managed. And now this is going to be a password for the other servers that you may connect to this one in the future. And I'm just going to go ahead and choose the default website. And now here's where you can choose, use an SSL connection or use an unencrypted connection. I would choose the SSL connection if I had a public certificate because the self-signed one causes a lot of uh, errors and things like that. And I'm not using Federation support for this. So I'm just going to choose unencrypted and I'll put in the fully qualified domain name, which is just the name of the server, followed by the Active Directory domain. And here's where it's saying that it wants to create a certificate that's going to be backed up in case there's any kind of an issue. So it's showing my Active Directory domain controller, which is fine. We'll just choose that. Now we want to register this SCP. So it's going to populate the blank SCPs that we created earlier and install. 
and this could take several minutes. Now I need to log off and log back in. And I'm going to log in as the RMS admin instead of the administrator as I'm logged in now. I'm logging back in. Now this is on a virtual machine using Hyper-V, but it doesn't matter if you're using physical or virtual servers. They both work the same way. Next, I should be able to go into Tools and open up Active Directory Rights Management Services once again. Now it's asking me to connect to my cluster. I'll right click and choose Add Cluster. And I chose HTTP, but if you chose HTTPS, of course you can use that. Local computer, and I'm going to connect as my RMS admin. Let's 